Hi, I'm Sick. Let's talk about movies. Captain Marvel is a ton of fun and makes for another worthy addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is kind of a weird situation we're getting involved in, because before the movie even came out, people were quick to assume that it was going to be a bomb, and that surprised me. What was there to get worried about? It's a Marvel movie, it's gotta be good. But maybe it has to do with things that might have been said by members of the cast and crew, or just the general viewpoint on representation in media being tainted by other big franchises that tried and failed at empowering women. <laughs> I won't name any names, Ghostbusters. I don't want to get very deep into this kind of subject matter since I'm not really well versed in social political topics like this. My general stance on any creative media has always been, if it looks good, I'll check it out. I try to keep an open mind with these things, and I don't think it's fair to decide on the quality of a movie without seeing it for yourself, unless there are any clear signs of failure. So I went to see Captain Marvel regardless of the things I heard, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Carol Danvers is an Air Force pilot who absorbs an unhealthy amount of alien energy and becomes a freakishly super-powered unit of a woman. After getting involved in a cosmic battle between the Kree and the Skrulls, Carol ends up back on Earth and teams up with a young Nick Fury to figure out how to stop the war, while also trying to uncover more of the mysteries surrounding her past. And there's also a cat named Goose that can eat things using giant tentacles that come out of its mouth. You know, typical cat stuff. It's usually kind of hard for me to get invested in stories where the main character has amnesia because if done poorly, then it can often come off as a cheap and easy way to provide exposition. But what makes it work here is that it's not the center of Carol's story. Regaining her memories is a goal she tries to accomplish, but her character arc is more focused on controlling her abilities and coming to grips with who she really is. This might be a bit controversial, but in my opinion, the best aspect of the film's writing is that it doesn't emphasize the fact that the main character is a woman. Don't get me wrong, it's great that we have another strong female lead in a superhero movie, and I'm always down for that kind of stuff, but Captain Marvel understands that it's not just being a woman that makes Carol herself interesting. It's who she is, what she does, and how she develops on her journey that makes her interesting. Most of that charm and charisma comes from Brie Larson's performance. I'm not familiar with most of her previous work, but I absolutely loved her in this role. Say what you will, but I found her extremely likable, and she really commands a presence. I like the rest of the cast as well. It's always great to see Samuel L. Jackson back in one of his most iconic parts, and the CG used to make him look younger is scarily well done. And I gotta say, the way they explain how he gets his eye patch is really, really funny. Honey, where's my eye patch? Where is my eye patch? <laughs> I love that scene. I'm sorry, I gotta get back on top. Trust me on this, guys. Captain Marvel is not as bad as you might think it is. There are a few slight pacing issues, and some references to other Marvel movies might be a little too on the nose. But if you've enjoyed any of the other MCU films up to this point, then chances are you're gonna like this movie just as much. It's nothing like the Ghostbusters reboot where they purposely made all the male characters idiotic just to make the female characters look better. And it's not, I should emphasize, not an overly preachy, cringy, pro-feminist, SJW pandering train wreck at all. It's another really good, fun, solid Marvel movie. Not the best of its kind, but it definitely meets the standards. Then again, what other Marvel movie can you say has a scene where the lead crashes through the roof of a blockbuster? That's pretty awesome if you ask me. So, would I recommend you go see Captain Marvel? Um, sure. If you don't plan on seeing this movie for certain reasons, then you have every right to feel the way you feel, but I would still strongly suggest that you give this movie a chance. Captain Marvel, she's a hero, gonna take Thanos down to zero. I finally found an excuse to put that song in a video. <laughs> it's so stupid, but uh, that was, that's good, I'm gonna keep that in. <laughs>